This is the entrance to the Milk River Ranch. It's outside of Haver, Montana, about four miles south of the Canadian border. Well, welcome to Augustine Grain and Cattle. Uh, we produce cattle, small grains, chickpeas, beans, lentils, uh, so a wide variety of, of products here in the north central Montana. Okay. This is, this is a ledge right along here, and a lot of ledges you can just walk right up to, and believe it or not, there's dinosaur bones right there, more there, so you know it's coming from up there. There's another dinosaur bone right there, more dinosaur bone fragments. We're looking at some of your land downstream here. You can see that big cut of grassy hillside where it shoots out closer to the river? Over there. Yeah, about a mile down. Yep. A mile. This is the Polaris we have out of here on the ranch to get you into the real rough areas so we can get you to where it's really tough and rough. Get you right down to the Milk River and you'll see we have some real big drops. We're going to go over in, in a little bit and take a look at a buffalo jump. Okay. Downstream from here, about a half, three quarters of a mile, uh, we found the head of a triceratops. We removed one of the, the biggest main horn off the skull and left the rest of the body intact and it's still down there. This is the site of a TP ring coming around here. You can just see where the outline of the rocks are coming around. It's about a 28 Crazy. foot diameter TP ring. And these TP rings, there's 1,100 of them at least on this ranch, on our private grounds. And you can explore these TP rings, or if you want to do a dig on a TP ring, you can. We charge a good bit of money for a dig on a TP ring. But, uh, you know, if you want to find artifacts, this is where to come. Standing along the west side of a drive line of a buffalo jump, because there's been no excavation here, no study of it, of this buffalo jump by archaeologists. We're not certain of the age uh, of the buffalo jump or when it was used uh, because it's been unstudied. Uh, I know that uh, because of cultivated land these sorts of large uh, drive lines are unusual. And you can see the rocks are in a pretty much a straight line going right back up through the... Yes yeah, they are. They would extend about a half a mile or further and then there's a wing shooting off and so just right over here is the, where the jump was. Yes, yeah. in front of us here, right. northeast. Yeah, a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Or northwest, okay. excuse me. Well, well, we'll take a journey up there and take a look at the jump. This is a block of six to seven and seven to eight foot Canadian hemlocks. And you can see none of the trees are touching. Any of the trees were touching were, were thrown away on the side. Just give us a call, 215-651-8329 for Canadian Hemlocks. We have real nice stock here. This is the, okay. this is Constellation Dogwood, your record Dogwood again, and it's a real white bloom. Very nice Dogwood, it's uh, always heavy and slick. It's called Constellation, record, record Dogwood cross. Nice looking dog. This is a block of Green Giant Arborvitas. More green giants at the top of this next field with Niagara's in the base and some more Niagara's and green giants over in there and more green giants all the way up through there. Give us a call, 215-651-8. This is a block of three and a half to four inch October Glory. It's a maple tree. Give us a call, 215-651-8329.